Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and just because we have to socially distance ourselves from people does not mean we have to sacrifice our privacy. Say hi, Brett. Hello there, everybody. So uh, this is Signal Messenger, and I'm going to hang up on you and start a video now, and we're going to dive into how to have truly private conversations and not worry about a lot of the other uh, software out there that may be causing some privacy concerns. So if you wanna learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire Share Project, there's a Hire Us button up at the top. If you wanna support this channel in other ways, there's some affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services that we talk about on this channel. And I have talked about Signal before. It's a great tool. And we'll start here at signal.org, speak freely. Say hello to a different messaging experience and an unexpected focus on privacy combined with all the features you'd expect. Now, Signal's free, but let's cover this real quick. It's a foundation, that's why it's free. They're not free because they're monetizing your existence and selling your data to some third parties. They're not taking VC money that's influencing them to try to monetize and et cetera, et cetera, the usual pitfalls you find with a lot of different uh, programs out there that are free. They're free because you're the product. I've, we've certainly all heard that before and it's true in many, many cases. It is a very full featured system. So security without insecurity. It's a messaging platform, so easy to message, easy to say whatever you want. You can share voice, text, message, photo, uh, animated GIFs. Signal uses your phone's data connection so you can have your avoid SMS and MMS fees, which some carriers still charge for. Speak freely, make crystal clear voice and video calls of people live across town or across the ocean with no long distance charges. Yeah, you know, pretty basic stuff because you're not actually using your phone number, you're just using the data plan. So this uses data, not actual like normal cellular voice. And make privacy slick, add a new layer of expression with conversations with encrypted stickers. I think it's, they took the time to encrypt the stickers. Think about that which I think is pretty cool. Get together with groups. Group chats make it easy to stay connected with your family and friends and coworkers. Uh, no ads, no trackers, no kidding. There are no ads, no affiliate marketers, and no creepy tracking for signals. So focus on sharing your moments that matter with people that matter to you. And this is one of the things that I think is really important is we do not have to sacrifice privacy just to have a private conversation online. So I've been working in the online space for years. This is something I think a lot about in Signal Messenger being one of my go-tos. Now, the good and bad of Signal Messenger is it uses your phone number. Why do I say good and bad? Good, it's really easy. It's easy for to take non-technical people, get them to sign up for Signal. They, it sends them an SMS message. I can now instantly have a private conversation when they have Signal loaded, I have Signal loaded. We already have a common thing we knew about each other, which is the phone number. The bad thing is, if I want to have a private conversation with a stranger and I don't want to give them my phone number, specifically my cell phone number, well, that creates a challenge with Signal. So I don't see this as the, you know, the worst problem to have because it makes an easy way to do identity management, but, you know, it it's a sacrifice to be able to have to uh, do that. So, you know, if you got to give someone your phone number uh, to have a conversation with them, I don't think it's the most terrible thing, but obviously there are people and people who just want to have an encrypted conversation with me. There are other methods. There's a PGP key on my website for those of you that really want to send me an encrypted message. And some people have used that. I do offer that as an option, but that's obviously much more technical than having my friends and relatives I've told to load signal. They go, this was easy. Now, what about if someone clones the phone? What if you cloned my phone? Wouldn't they be able to get to my signal? Because there's no username, no password, no registration other than verifying that you own the phone number. Well, that's where Signal's already thought of a lot of these. And what they do is they offer a system by which if my phone gets cloned or changed, it will automatically notify everyone in Signal that my safety number has changed. As in, because my safety number changed, they will know that another phone, another device was added and can be notified of that. So that's an important piece that Signal has is they do have mitigations against that. Now, as far as the protocol itself, the entire thing is open source. And if you understand cryptography, you can read through all the source code, the cryptography, the entire methodologies. It's 100% published. It's been audited by other cryptographers, not just Moxie Marlin and Spike who came up with all this but they have an entire breakdown of every little piece of how it works. So it's completely been well vetted. And if you don't believe those who have vetted it, you can vet it yourself if you understand cryptography. Um, it's a lot of reading, but they are 100% open source and do everything in the clear. So it's one of the tools I think is really handy to um, people to use. It's really handy for the average users that want to, you know, because pretty much everyone has a cell phone these days. You want to have an easy encrypted private conversation. Signal is a great way to go. Now, the last thing I'm going to cover is it's not a replacement for a video conferencing app. You do not have group conferencing. It is a group chat app, but it's not a group conferencing app. So you can build a group. You can have a group of people you exchange messages with, but there's not a way to call and conference all those people at this time. I'm not positive that'll be a future 
um, feature or not. But from a standpoint of being able to directly call someone and make a private, completely encrypted phone call, works great. From the standpoint of being able to have a one-on-one -on -one video chat with someone, 100% private and encrypted, works perfectly good for that. So those two features make it very ideal and it's very easy to use. Like I said, there's no more than just have a cell phone, whether it's iOS or Android, yeah, it works on both platforms and you can start having a private conversation with someone. Granted, it is gonna use your data plan, but it also will work over Wi-Fi and things like that. Now they do also have the desktop app, which does not support any type of uh, the videos or phone calling, but it allows you to keep continuing the conversation from your desktop, whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux, and carry on with that conversation. I'll leave a previous review I did of Signal down below. Uh, if you are interested in diving a little bit more into it, I've covered things a little bit more in depth, I think, in the other video. But I just wanna throw it out there. It's one of the easy tools to recommend. It's free, but don't worry, it's not free as in charge uh, is monetizing your existence. Just a great application to use if you want to have a private conversation. And with everyone kind of being on lockdown here in April of 2020, you don't need, I just want to remind people, you don't need to sacrifice your privacy to have a private conversation. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos, they're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.